Hello everyone, welcome to a new Top 5. Today we're talking about my Top 5 favorite Team Fortress 2 maps. However, a couple rules are in play. 1. I'm not doing community maps, that means Asheville and other competitive maps are a no-go. 2. There's only one map per game mode. So with all that said, let's hop into it. If you are a veteran of my channel, you might remember my first ever video was on this map. Like, I mean FIRST EVER video! I took it down to poor quality, but some people still might remember it. My number 5 favorite map is... CTF Double Cross. This map is one of the most aesthetically pleasing in all of TF2 in my humble opinion, and the layout is pretty cool as well. There are two different clear-cut paths to take, the sewers or the front gate. There are also a bunch of drop-downs that work as a one-way gate. I really do love this map, but due to the fact it's CTF, it only comes in number 5 on this list. This map is the first map I think of when I think 5CP. I could play this map for hours on end. I'm talking about CP Coldfront. This map looks really beautiful with its constant snowfall and warming base. Like, to me, I always picture walking inside the second point is like walking to a nice sauna. Also, the map is really awesome because it has three clear defined ways of attack, not three clear choke points like in most CP maps. This one has three big enough spaces in between each area that they're not really a choke point, and they often branch into other paths, so it's not really just a direct choke. Fun fact about this map is that this is the map where I made the intro. Like, right here. This is actually where it happens. Yeah, fun little secret about my intro. Often regarded as a maze or one of the worst maps in competitive, it's attack and defend but has more than three cap points. That's right, I'm all up in CP Steel. Okay, so besides the fact that it's confusing as all hell for new players, it is a great map. It feels like a really giant facility, which is what you're supposed to feel on it. Also, there are health packs shoved everywhere, so that means I don't gotta rely on medics as much to save me from my stupid overextending. Speaking of comp, it provides one of the best experiences you can get in my opinion. Each team has their own strategy. You can go A to B to E, or A to B to C. There's a buttload of strats, and it's a new experience every time I play it. I will say having your team go the wrong way is the most aggravating thing in the world, so that's why it's not higher up. This map is one of those maps you'd expect to, on every list, or at least every heavy mains list, Koth Viaduct. This map is one of those that I never really saw the vast appeal to until I started playing a lot of competitive and praying I didn't have to play Badwater. I mean, I like Badwater and everything, but it's it's kind of always there, like every single lobby. Like, just give me a break, please. This map is one of those that is okay on pubs, but it's astounding in comp. The amount of teamwork to try and hold the rock is awesome, and calling out the sniper on cliff feels amazing. Also, snipers, one of the best maps for him, and yet one of the smallest maps, so heavy isn't horrible, unlike a certain competitive map. <coughs> Swiftwater. One thing I don't like about this map is that there's only four health packs. Four. That's it. Boom. Done. Two per side, one on cliff, one in grass, or snow in this case. In the competitive version of this map, there's a small one in connector, but that's the pro version, not the valve one, so that's why it's not on this list. I will probably get hung for this one. Wait, no, I will get hung for this one. PL Frontier. Don't type your rant yet, let me explain. This map at first glance looks like one of those that choke point after choke point after choke point payload maps. But upon further inspection, each choke has a way around it with a sneaky side path. Like look at this, you can completely negate this whole mess on second if you go up this way. Also this map has long narrow areas which is great for range classes, but yet it's closer quarter buildings scattered throughout which is amazing for heavy. The map itself is huge as well, like, at last, that's four floors on one point. It's awesome! But if you're someone who hates all this, you still gotta give credit where credit's due. The bomb cart is amazing. Scouts and spies can't hide on the one side of it and sneakily push it in. You have to stand on the back, you gotta to stick with it, you gotta say, hey, I'm pushing the cart. And at that point, you can either push or get killed. Also, it looks really cool. It's like a giant crocodile shark. Thingy. This map doesn't get enough recognition as it should in my opinion, but then again, these are all opinions. Tell me what your favorite maps are in the comments below, or maybe I just got your list spot on, like me and you, we're, we're one of the same maybe, who knows. I'll see you in the next one. Have a small day. Peace out!